Hey, John Adams here from the Tubrider Masterclass. Just another quick training session for you. I'm always being asked how I manage to get my splashes on the front of my videos, how they look so nice. Um, and am I paying a designer to do that? Or am I using any special software to be able to do that? On, you know, those kind of questions. And do you know what? I'm the worst techie guy on the planet. And I don't have time to go looking all the time for someone to do this stuff for me because sometimes I want to do things quickly so I do this stuff myself so I'm just going through the sales funnel for the Tube Raider Masterclass because it's about to go back into the marketplace um, and this is a great way for you as a customer already of mine just to see how you set this up because how easy this is so I'm going through the complete sales funnel and we can see that this is the video here and it does exactly what you want it to do exactly what you want it to do this obviously is an extra bonus because it's right in their face it's pretty obvious what needs to happen but nevertheless the flash is very easy and I'll, I'll show you this in a second so these are the pages of the sales funnel and each one of them is a video and that what you see behind the white background with the, the words and the images is a splash image that I've put over the front of that video. Now the great thing about this is you can do this in YouTube as well as from Amazon streaming. So that's what I do from both of them. So you make those YouTube videos look very, very personal to yourself. So that's what you're seeing. This is the sales funnel. I'm just gonna show you those images so you can see how much they stick out. Um, you know, it's clean. And to set this up to do this is very very fast and like I say I am not a very technical person whatsoever so this is how I do it and I'm having to use two bits of software to do this because I'm really that not technical and maybe you can only get away with the one but the first thing that I do is I just create a slide in PowerPoint uh, and obviously there's the free version a PowerPoint out there, the online office one. So you can do this really easy. You just literally pull up yourself a PowerPoint, you get yourself a slide, and then you do something to that slide. And I've simply written the words congratulations at the top here, and the words please watch the video for download instructions. Then I've just taken two images off my hard drive, and I've just popped them in place there. That you see and that's it sometimes I might write something in the middle like press here or click here but that is the essence of what I do once I've done that I then just take a quick screenshot of that so I print the screen and that's really easy to do and you just go to the top of your keyboard and the third button in from the top right says PRTSC or something similar which means print screen button from your delete button at the top right from that button count in one two three okay including that delete button and you see the print screen you literally just click that once once you've clicked that you can then open up your paint and if you go to edit you can see that the paste is blacked out Okay, so that means it's active. If you click on paste, that image that we've just taken appears on your paint, just like that, the whole thing. Okay, and you can see me moving it around here. So once you've got it into paint, you can then click on image, left click on crop. Let's center that up. And then crop the bit that you want. And for me, that's obviously going to be the white bit so we're just grabbing that left clicking and holding down the mouse grab the bit we want we let go I then go back to the image right click and then left click at the bottom here on the word crop and it basically crops that image from the the screen image that we took so now we have the image that we want so let's save that okay and then you save as and you save that I've already save that so I'm not gonna let's just save that there. there's a different file just to show you so I'm just save that okay 
and we're going to go to my desktop and we're going to call that congrats splash okay and we're going to save that just like that so that image is saved now depending on the size of the video player that you're using will depend on what size you need that image to be so for instance on mine if we go back to the actual page of that image on the, my videos I'm using an 800 by 400 so in order for that video to look nice for that image to sit there nicely uh, without being able to sync without the graphics looking bad we need to make sure that that image is exactly the same size as a video player so whatever video player size you've got from YouTube or your own one if you're streaming from Amazon all I do then is I open up paint.net now when you try and resize inside paint itself it doesn't allow you to do what you have to do in terms of writing in 800 by 400 so maybe you'd have to play with that and that just takes up more than an extra minute for me and I don't need to think about that okay so I can't resize inside paint if you're cleverer than me maybe you can do that straight away so what I do is I open up paint.net which is free and this is a great piece of software I guess it could have cropped it from here again but I've not technical enough to work that out so once you got your image got a file open we're gonna find that image that I just created with a screenshot really really quickly um, what do we call it congrats yeah we're going to open that up and then before our eyes that image is going to appear okay there it is now if we click on image we can left click on resize and then we can do it exact as a size as a pixel size so i'm just going to write 800 in there i'm going to write 400 in there and then I'm going to OK that and then paint.net is going to resize that to the, exactly the size that I want for that video splash and then I'm just going to save that once I've got that I then have my image exactly as I want it then all you do is you need to upload that to your WordPress blog as you always do you add new media, you find the file, you upload it. And then once you've uploaded it, or when I've uploaded it, I then open up my Voo player, which is my player of choice that I use. And then I can add that to the other settings that I've put in place. So for instance, this is a video that's being streamed from Amazon, but it could just as easily be streamed from YouTube. You know, if you've got a video at YouTube or you like someone else's video at YouTube, you can do exactly the same for YouTube. I put in some bit, little bits and pieces that I want. We can see we've got 800 by 400. I do all my snazzy bits. But what I've done there is uploaded a splash image. And that's the image that is stored on my website blog. And this is the URL to it. Once that's in place, I make my save changes. It goes through there. And then gives me a preview of what that looks like. I then take a code. That it gives me and I drop that code onto my page inside my blog and then boom it appears like that and that is the video there and the splash image so for you to create a splash image is just as simple as opening up a PowerPoint or a free version that does exactly the same and create that good looking splash this could be any color of background that you care to name so it could be black and all this could be white you could have your brand, you could have anything you want there without having to hire a designer, spend any time, effort or money doing it. And if I could do it, hey, anybody can do that. So it looks good. It's a good looking splash and it will make you stand out from the crowd. When people arrive and look at your videos, even your YouTube videos, and they see this quality with this kind of stuff going on, they will know they're in good, safe hands. Okay, I'll keep the, the little videos coming. 
any kind of questions you've got about how you do simple things, let me know and I'll create a video for you. Thanks for stopping by. This is John Adams signing out.